Cuba is a tropical paradise, just 90 miles from Key West, Florida. It has always been a draw for travelers, history buffs, and people who are interested in the unknown. There are a lot of people on this island, but it's also full of important political and scientific secrets that are making headlines around the world. Cuba is full of amazing things and mysteries that have yet to be solved. There are secret spy sites there, and lionfish are becoming a bigger problem for the environment. We'll look into four of these riddles that are making news and leaving scientists all over the world stumped. Buckle up, because we're going to go deep. What if you woke up one morning to find out that your quiet neighbor was actually a secret agent? This is the shocking truth that America faced when it came out that China has been running a secret spy base in Cuba, which is very close to the United States. People in power are playing a dangerous game of cat and mouse, denying and confirming things as if they were trading cards. The events taking place are enthralling to the rest of the world. This news isn't just a plot from a Hollywood movie. It's an earthquake in international relations that's being felt all over the world. It's like throwing a big rock into a pond that was once calm. The waves will finally hit every shore. China is showing off its power with this discovery, showing that its impact doesn't just extend to its neighbors. It's present all over the world and ready to leave its mark. This move by China is like adding another king to a chessboard. It changes the rules of the game in a basic way. It is now very dangerous for the US and its partners to talk to each other. On one side is the risk of things getting worse, a jump into an unknown depth of war and unrest. There is also the road of engagement and negotiation, which is a way to get China back to the table so that the rules for working together with other countries can be changed. What does China want to do with this secret base? Is the only purpose to gather information or is it part of a bigger plan to counteract American power in the Caribbean and Latin America? These are the kinds of questions that politicians, spy agencies, and people who make decisions are trying to answer, but the answers are as elusive as a ghost. Many people may be uneasy about the existence of this secret base, but there's no denying that it makes foreign politics more interesting. This new information is a story twist that even the most creative fiction writers would have a hard time coming up with. For sure, one thing is clear. The stakes in global diplomacy have gone up and everyone will be watching to see how countries deal with this new, tricky ground. Imagine a beautiful lion, its hair flapping in the wind as it roams its kingdom. This lion, however, is a fish and it's swimming through coral reefs instead of strolling across the savanna. This is the lionfish, which is Cuba's most feared underwater invader. It's like the mean kid on the playground who steals everyone's lunch money, but it's happening underwater and it's killing local fish at an unbelievable rate. From its home in the Pacific Ocean, the lionfish is like a charming friend who shows up late to the party. This fish isn't just eating all the chips and dip though, it's also eating the local fish, which is bad for the marine ecosystem. In a sci-fi movie, it's like an alien invader that outcompetes and kills off local species, throwing the whole ecosystem out of whack. Is it possible that adding a little lemon and salt would be all it takes to beat this bad guy? Yes, experts and locals have come up with a unique way to fight back. Eat them. Picture a local fisherman bringing in nets full of lionfish, not to study them, but to eat. The people in the area are actually biting this environmental problem by making lionfish a special on the menu. This eat to defeat plan may sound like something from a cooking show, but it has a real goal, to bring balance back to the marine ecosystem. People are using forks and knives to protect their underwater backyards, just like you would pick up trash to protect a park. It turns out that the lionfish is both a bad guy and a tasty food. It's becoming very popular, and the fish that people used to be afraid of is now the main attraction on dinner plates all over Cuba. The Cuban crocodile is like a respected, wise old person in a society. It has been around for a very long time and is an important part of Earth's biodiversity. If we'd only stop and listen, these crocs have stories and lessons to share. 
just like the older people in our towns. The saddest part of this story is that these old, slimy people are about to be kicked out of their homes and don't have much time left. Think about losing nine out of ten of your friends. Thrilling, right? This is what the Cuban crocodile has to deal with. In the last 100 years, 90% of its population has disappeared. This is mostly because of things that people do, like hunting and habitat loss. You can get an idea of how terrible this is by picturing your grandparents losing their home and neighborhood. The time is running out for these amazing animals as you read this. Don't give up though, because some people are trying to turn that clock back. To stop this decline, people are working on breeding projects and even getting ex-poachers to become conservationists. You could compare it to asking the bully at school to be the hall monitor. It turns the hunters into the guardians. It's going to be hard, but we have to fight it. They might not have time on their side, but we do. There are more and more ways to save these crocodiles, such as education campaigns and tighter hunting laws, but it needs to happen quickly. Think of each of us as a possible guardian, each with a piece of the puzzle that can help make the place safer and more secure for these older people. Think about running a marathon. Your forehead will be wet with sweat and every step will burn your legs. You can see the finish line in the distance. It gives you hope and makes you feel better. It moves farther away just as you're about to reach it. Doesn't it seem frustrating? For people who live in some parts of Havana, this is not a made-up story. They have to deal with it every day as they fight for something as basic as water. This isn't just a problem, it's an issue that needs to be dealt with right away. Think about living in a house where the pipes are so old that they are breaking. Now make that problem bigger across a whole city. Welcome to the western and ancient parts of Havana. Because of broken pump stations, leaky pipes and an old water infrastructure, getting water for over 77,000 people has become an endless marathon. Let's talk about money, or more specifically, how much these people have to pay to quench their thirst and meet their basic wants. Water trucks have become essential because the normal water supply is like a roller coaster of bad luck. But this lifesaver costs a lot of money. With these water supplies, families have to pay for them, a basic human right that is turning into a luxury they can barely afford. If you look at this situation without seeing the bigger picture, it's like finding a leak in your house, but not fixing it until the whole floor is wet. There are already a lot of issues with Cuba's economy, such as sanctions and a severely affected tourism industry. Lack of water is not a small problem. It's a huge problem that could sink a boat that is already shaking. This crisis is about water as much as it is about life. So it's not just a local problem. Everyone needs to do something about it. We can all do our part to change things. Now is the time to act. Whether it's pushing for more money to be spent on infrastructure or just getting the word out. We have a lot more to find, question and look into. These are just a few of the weird and wonderful things that can happen in Cuba. Each one is more interesting than the last. If this deep dive into Cuba's secrets amazed you, just think of what else is out there waiting to be found. Share this blog post and let us know which topic interests you the most. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more mind-bending explorations of the secrets of the world. Now, are you now ready to start your next journey of discovery? Allow us to stay interested together.